Welcome to part 7 in the Leathercraft series. This one focuses on finishing and aftercare. Let's get started. Once I have the product all put together and the edges are finished, the last thing for me to do is just to apply a finish, which will just give me an extra level of water resistance and just general protection. In this example, I'm using acrylic resiline and I just apply this using a cloth. I think this is actually an old t-shirt and I'll just apply that thoroughly, making sure I get into all the edges and I'll leave that to dry. And then I'll just use a clean cloth just to, to buff that to give it a bit more shine and that's the that's the products finished so something I wanted to mention here was how leather actually ages. So over time, leather develops something called a patina, which essentially is just the way the leather darkens and it develops a kind of shine to it. Uh, how each piece ages will depend on a few different factors, things like exposure to sunlight, um, temperature, you know, moisture, the dirt and oil from your hands, things like that, as well as even the dye from your jeans. So the leather will absorb all of those things to a certain degree, which means that every product will develop a patina slightly differently over time, meaning that each piece is completely unique. That's something that looks really good and that's hard to replicate artificially as well. A patina is it's really most obvious, I suppose, on natural undyed leather. The same thing happens with dyed leather as well. It'll naturally just get a lot darker over time, so that's something to bear in mind when you're actually selecting the colour that you want. Veg tan naturally ages really well. It's a durable material. It doesn't actually need a huge amount of maintenance. All that you really need to do is to condition it every so often using something like saddle soap or neat's foot oil. That'll just stop the leather drying out and cracking. And it'll also help to remove any sort of light scuffs and marks and things like that, which will naturally just happen to each piece anyway. Okay, so that'll wrap up the Leathercraft series here then. Thanks very much for sticking with it this this far. I'm gonna try and keep up with the, the weekly uploads. Something that I'd like to go into more detail on is the actual types of leather conditioners that you can use, how well they work and what kind of protection they give you, things like that. So if anyone has any recommendations, any specific ones that you'd like me to include, just leave a comment and I'll check them out. Well, thanks very much again for, for sticking with the series and I'll see you guys next week with a video on something completely different. Thanks very much.